Welcome back from that break. And then I have with me in the studio, beautiful Asari Bia and Derek. Hi. Hi. You're welcome. Thank Hello. you. Thank you. Thank you, um, Asari Bia. Yes. Oh, please, okay. Derek, don't start. <laughs> I, don't, yeah. I mean, today we watched um, the series and we mm. realized that um, Manu still is holding on to um, some pain mm -hmm. in her heart. And reason being that she felt um, Kamal has actually betrayed her. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask if um, those who get hurt or does pain cloud our sense of judgment? Mm. Well, I, I, as, as human beings, it's very inevitable mm -hmm. that we'll go through a certain painful process and it's going to cloud our judgment mm -hmm. or it's going to, you know, make us not see people for who they truly are. Mm -hmm. Well, it could be that one, that person who has hurt you, mm -hmm. you it's, it's very difficult for you to go beyond the pain mm -hmm. and, you know, bring the person back into your fold. Yeah. It could also be that someone has hurt you in the past and it's very difficult for you to open up your heart mm -hmm. to love other people. Exactly. So I think as human beings, it's very normal. We're all striving towards the ideal situation mm -hmm. where we can let go of the pain mm -hmm. and, you know, open our hearts to people again. Okay. But I mean, it's a process. We are getting there. <laughs> Is it really a process? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. But you see, first of all, we all, we all have an original creator, mm -hmm. the one who created us himself, mm -hmm. God himself. Sometimes when he gets angry, he takes quick action at that point. Do you ask God? Are you his spokesperson? No, I know because there are so many evidences in the Bible that show. But that was in the past. Yeah, Thank you. But he is God. He is still yeah, that yeah. I am We're that not I taking am. that from him. Yeah. And, 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 and in the time of Moses, even if you realized when the Israelites were trying to misbehave, God said he was going to kill everybody. And Moses was like, how can you kill the people? So it was Moses who drew God himself attention to that. But he got angry mm -hmm. at that point. And so he said, I was going to kill all of them. And then Moses had to draw his attention that, look, you brought them out and you want to kill them. So what are you expecting? You want people to say that the people you saved, you still want to kill them. That is why you saved them. You see, so sometimes even us as human beings, you can't control it. But there are some people, it's too much. There are certain things and there are petty, petty things mm -hmm. you shouldn't be angry about. Mm -hmm. And as she said, there are some people, when the trust is big, or when you, when you just put yourself into them, like, um, I, I like this person so much, I love this person so much, and I trust the person so, so much, the fall is so great. Because when the person does something that you are not expecting the person to do, you see that you find it very difficult to forgive. So, Asaribia, how do you deal with um, such situations? How are you able to manage the situation? Hmm. Well, I think that one, you should understand that as I said, it's a process. But before you continue, mm. have you really been hurt in any way that you found it so difficult to let go? Well, yeah. Um, why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind. Every lady has been hurt. <laughs> please, please, please. And I'm not even talking, you know, like love <laughs> relationship. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm talking hurt in so many ways. A friend can hurt you. But you said every just... lady has yeah. been hurt. Yeah, every lady. You said every is... lady has been hurt. Allow her. <laughs> ah, sorry, we are less. <laughs> Yes, as I said, I said, it's not even a love relationship, mm -hmm. you know, like friendship. Exactly. But, and it's a, it's a gradual process. We're human, and mm -hmm. for everybody has um, their own way of dealing with these things. Exactly. So, um, I can say that I'm still going through the process. Okay. But the most important thing is that you, should, you shouldn't allow, as I said, you shouldn't allow what people have done to you in the past to determine how you deal with the new person you come across. Okay. I think that it's important to give everybody a clean slate. Okay. Everybody you meet a clean slate. So for instance, some dark guy in the past has hurt you. So every single dark guy you meet, you yeah. write them off. I mean, Derek is oh. one dark guy I'm sure has hurt a lot of people. Have you hurt really? any lady before? I can't tell because I... You know, sometimes he won't be some, able some, to tell. No, sometimes he just it's, said it's, that every lady it's, it's has actions been one way or the other. Yes, so that's every what lady has been hurt by a guy. guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah,
unless you draw my attention that I did this to you or I was able to say this and then I didn't fulfill my promise and so I've hurt you on that way. That one, okay, I've hurt you. But one way or the other, we are human. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's a popular proverb in Akan that says that the trees that are close, how do I even say it in English? If you are bearing a tree, no, you understand. Mm, okay. You understand. So, so, so understand since, we are, since we are always close to each other, we will just be scratching each other. And then one way or the other, one will get hurt. I mean, it's, it's really true that the one that is closer to you is yeah. the one that will hurt you. Mm. So if you've been hurt by someone that's so close to you, how do you deal with the person? How do you keep up or maintain the relationship? Or well, keep up with it? I think that one, you need to ask yourself if this person that mm -hmm. you, you, you're going to be keeping up with or you're going to be putting up with is worth it. Mm -hmm. Because we're all damaged goods, right? We're all not perfect. So we all have weaknesses, right? So you need to ask yourself, this person that I'm, I'm close with, that will be Jimmy, as Derek said. <laughs> is, is the person worth it? Does the person have certain good in them, some good in them or some positives in them that I can, I can simply overlook the negative part and still stay with the person. If not, if you're, you, you keep draining yourself and you keep putting yourself out there and you're, you're just going to be hurt, then there's no point. Um, Derek, I'll ask you the same question I asked there. How would you be able to maintain or how would you maintain relationship with someone that has hurt you you know we all have different temperament you mm -hmm. understand and so i might be different from um, um asaribia mm -hmm. you get me so the way i would deal with the situation would be different from the way asaribia would deal with it okay maybe i'm a type of person that when you hurt me today and then you come back tomorrow i'll easily forget forgive you like the mm -hmm. way manu is doing mm -hmm. and so if somebody sits somewhere he's like oh, why is this guy keeping like this guy with him he's always forgiving him okay you don't know maybe my temperament is just letting me do that and you have a different one to just keep yours in a different way mm -hmm. even when you look at a guy and a lady both of us are too different okay. you see that guys i can even meet somebody today a, a, a male friend today i don't know anywhere but i'll be chatting as if we know each other for a thousand years yeah. or so many years okay. but a lady you know that kind of attitude is there every lady feels like you know i'm i'm the big person mm -hmm. and so i always say that they even feel big to call each other, each madam, other. Mm -hmm. or like big sis or something. No, they don't do that. But guys, oh boss, you see, so we are two different types of people. And so anytime you are being hurt by somebody, the way for me, I, I will just deal with it is to steady my temperament, the way I am, and how I want to move with the person. Somebody can forgive you, but still have some doubts about you. I wouldn't trust you. Like there are certain things I will not just let you do it. I will just lay back and do the things on my own, or I'll just ask somebody to help me out, but okay. not you. But there are some people, after you have, you have heard them, they'll come back and still be rolling around mm -hmm. with you. So mm -hmm. it depends on the person that has been hurt and okay. how the person will deal with it. Um, Asabia, so does someone who keeps forgiving or letting go become a weak person? Hmm. Well, you shouldn't be repeating the same mistakes. Okay. Yes, as for that. So... As I said last week, you can forgive, okay. but don't put yourself in the same situation where the person can easily hurt you again. Okay. On the other hand, you cannot keep repeating the same mistakes. Mm -hmm. So um, one person keeps doing the same thing to you. You know that th this person will keep doing this thing, mm -hmm. but you keep forgiving. And then, I mean, of course, yeah, forgive, forgive. But just don't put yourself in the same situation again. Derek. <laughs> this Sunday, when I went to church, my pastor made me understand something that, look, the way we think that God himself, like, if you, does, if you do something right now, like, oh God, oh God, forgive me, and he has forgiven you. It's not that easy. And so me, myself, I'm trying to think, you know, he created us in, in his own image. So even as humans, it's not that easy at all to just forgive. Like, for me, I'm seeing that it will make you weak at a point. Okay. You get it? The more you continue to forgive, the more the person thinks that, oh, I can take this guy for granted. At least even if I do this to him, he, when I come back and I apologize, I, I shed my crocodile tears, he will just forgive me and then that will be all. Hmm. But at the end of the day, I think it will make you weak for me. Okay. Thank you so much for coming. I'm always grateful. And thank you too for being with us through it all. I want to say um, very happy birthday to Isabella Adra Eseku. 
from McAfee. Baby, please, McAfee asked me to dedicate uh, to um, Isabella. So happy birthday, Isabella. And a very big thank you to you for staying with us through it all. FC Beauty products, Indomie Instant Noodles. Today, ladies watch CB Men and Women Capsules, Pet Biscuits, Cold White, Clinic Hair Relaxer, Auntie Mary's Gripe Water, Heaven's Mosquito Quill, Calipo, Gino Tomato Paste, Onga, Royal King Crackers, Cerelac, VFEM, Ernest Ointment, Veraldo, Royal Feast Perfume Rice, Zedek Cup Mix Syrup, and Zwan. And also a very big thank you to Pat of Ellie Daddy for my beautiful crochet braids. Thank you for staying with us and have a good night. Bye. Thank you.